Here is the list of the most talented actresses from Great Britain. We ranked their favorite English, Scottish, Welsh, and Irish ladies, and this ultimate list brings together all the rankings from my opinion, though nearly all of the women on the list first garnered male attention in the UK, most of them have also gone on to international celebrity, based both on their gorgeous good looks and, in some cases, impressive talent. These are my top 10 actresses from UK of all time. At number 10. Vanessa Redgrave, 1937. Vanessa Redgrave was born 30 January 1937 is an English actress and activist. Proclaimed as the greatest actress of our time by Tennessee Williams, Redgrave is the recipient of an Academy Award, a British Academy Television Award, two Golden Globe Awards, two Primetime Emmy Awards, two Screen Actors Guild Awards. Redgrave made her film debut starring opposite her father in the medical drama Behind the Mask, 1958, and rose to prominence with the satire Morgan, a suitable case for treatment, 1966, which garnered her first of her six Academy Award nominations, winning Best Supporting Actress for the Holocaust drama Julia, 1977. Her other nominations were for Isadora, 1968, Mary, Queen of Scots, 1971, The Bastonians, 1984, and Howard's End, 1992. Among her other films is A Man for All Seasons, 1966, Blow Up, 1966, Camelot, 1967, The Devils, 1971, Murder on the Orient Express, 1974, Prick Up Your Ears, 1987, Mission Impossible, 1996, Atonement, 2007, Letters to Juliet, 2010, Cariolanus, 2011, and The Butler, 2013. At number 9. Emily Blunt, 1983. Emily Blunt was born on 23 February 1983 as a British actress. Her accolades include a Golden Globe Award and a Screen Actors Guild Award, in addition to nominations for two British Academy Film Awards. Blunt's over-the-top performance as Streep's high-strung assistant catapulted her into the international spotlight, steering her career away from prior British period television pieces and towards memorable supporting roles in the Jane Austen Book Club, 2007, and the Steve Carell comedy, Dan in Real Life, 2007. The breadth of her versatility, coupled with her love of unusual unhinged characters, was solidified with starring roles in as varied projects as Sunshine Cleaning, 2009, Young Victoria, 2009, The Wolfman, 2010, and The Adjustment Bureau, 2011. At number 8. Haley Atwell, 1982. Haley Elizabeth Atwell born on 5 April 1982 is an English actress. Born and raised in London. Atwell rose to international prominence with her portrayal of Peggy Carter in the superhero film Captain America, The First Avenger, 2011, a role she reprised in the action-adventure series Agent Carter, 2015-2016, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe films Captain America, The Winter Soldier, 2014, Avengers, Age of Ultron, 2015, and man 2015, and Avengers, Endgame, 2019. She also had roles in the war drama Testament of Youth, 2014, the romantic fantasy Cinderella, 2015, and the fantasy comedy drama Christopher Robin, 2018. At number 7. Judy Dench, 1934. Dame Judy Dench was born Judith Olivia Dench in York, England. She attended Mount School in York and studied at the Central School of Speech and Drama. She has performed with the Royal Shakespeare Company, the National Theatre, and at Old Vic Theatre. She is a 10-time BAFTA winner including Best Actress in a Comedy Series for A Fine Romance, 1981, in which she appeared with her husband, Michael Williams, and Best Supporting Actress in A Handful of Dust, 1988, and A Room with a View, 1985. She received an ACE Award for her performance in the television series Star Quality, Mr. and Mrs. Edgehill, 1985. She was appointed an officer of the Order of the British Empire in 1970, a Dane commander of the Order of the British Empire in 1988, and a member of the Order of the Companions of Honor in 2005. At number 6. Helen Murren, 1945. Dame Helen Murren was born in Queen Charlotte's Hospital in West London. Her mother, Kathleen Alexandrina Eva Matilda Rogers, was from a working-class English family, and her father, Vasily Petrovich Miranov, was a Russian-born civil servant from Kuryanovo, whose own father was a diplomat. Member of the jury at the Venice Film Festival in 2004. Played a queen a total of six times, The Queen, 2006, Elizabeth I, 2005, 
The Prince of Egypt, 1998, The Snow Queen, 1995, The Madness of King George, 1994, and Caligula, 1979. At number 5. Kate Winslet, 1975. Kate Elizabeth Winslet born on 5 October 1975 is a British actress. By the time she was only 22, Winslet broke the record for being the youngest actress to have received two Academy Award nominations, the first for her star-making turn in Sense and Sensibility, 1995, and the second for her performance in James Cameron's landmark epic Titanic, 1997. The latter had the potential for locking her into a steady string of Hollywood blockbusters, but Winslet wisely chose to retreat into the independent world, where she found her bearings in acclaimed fare like Hideous Kinky, 1999, and Quills, 2000. But her bread and butter was always her ability to play free-spirited women tinged with sexuality, sometimes with a comic flair, as she did in Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, 2004, other times, with deeply tragic undertones like in Little Children, 2006. After finally winning an Oscar for her tragic performance in The Reader, 2008, Winslet charted a new course on the small screen with her critically acclaimed role in the cable miniseries, Mildred Pierce, HBO, 2011, which helped stake her claim as being one of the most accomplished and versatile actresses of her generation. At number 4. Elizabeth Taylor, 1932-2011. Taylor was born on February 27, 1932, in London, England. Her first foray onto the screen was in There's One Born Every Minute, 1942, released when she was 10. The first production she made with that studio was Lassie Come Home, 1943, and on the strength of that one film, MGM signed her for a full year. After completing her MGM contract, Taylor starred in 20th Century Fox's Cleopatra, 1963. According to film historian Alexander Doty, this historical epic made her more famous than ever before. Taylor's career was in decline by the late 1960s. She had gained weight, was nearing middle age, and did not fit in with new Hollywood stars such as Jane Fonda and Julie Christie. Elizabeth Taylor died on March 23, 2011, in Los Angeles, from congestive heart failure. Her final resting place is Forest Lawn Memorial Park, in Glendale, California. At number 3. Rachel Weiss, 1970. Rachel Hannah Weiss was born on 7 March 1970, in London, UK, to Edith Ruth, Tyke, a psychoanalyst, and George Weiss, an inventor. Rachel went on to star on stage in the lauded Sean Mathias revival of Noel Coward's Design for Living. It was a role that won her a vote for Most Promising Newcomer by the London Critics Circle. She has starred in many movies, including The Mummy, 1999, Enemy at the Gates, 2001, and Stealing Beauty, 1996. Rachel can also be seen in the movies The Shape of Things, 2003, About a Boy, 2002, Constantine, 2005, and The Constant Gardener, 2005, for which she won an Academy Award, Golden Globe, and Screen Actors Guild Award for Best Supporting Actress. At number 2. Kate Beckinsale, 1973. Kate Beckinsale was born on 26 July 1973 in Hounslow, Middlesex, England, and has resided in London for most of her life. Her major acting debut came in a TV film about World War II called One Against the Wind, 1991, filmed in Luxembourg during the summer of 1991. Since her breakthrough, Beckinsale went on to make a name for herself in her native England, then across the pond in the United States, where she made her debut in The Last Days of Disco, 1998. Though her first major American film, Broke Down Palace, 1999, proved to be a box office flop, she gained widespread exposure in the blockbuster Pearl Harbor, 2001. But it was Beckinsale's starring turn as the leather-clad vampire warrior, Celine, in Underworld, 2003, that earned her a legion of young comic book fans who enjoyed seeing her reprise the sexy role in Underworld Evolution, 2006. As her career went on, Beckinsale deftly balanced her new status as a science fiction action queen with a realistic portrayal of Ava Gardner in The Aviator, 2004, and roles in mature dramas like Everybody's Fine, 2009. At number 1. Audrey Hepburn, 1929-1993. Audrey Hepburn, born May 4, 1929, in Brussels, Belgium, and died January 20, 1993, in Tallachenis, Switzerland. She was a Belgian-born British actress known for her radiant beauty and style, her ability to project an air of sophistication tempered by a charming innocence, and her tireless efforts to aid children in need. On September 25, 1954, she married actor Mel Ferrer. 
She also starred in Sabrina, 1954, for which she received an Academy Award nomination. She starred in the films Funny Face, 1957, and Love in the Afternoon, 1957. She received yet another Academy Award nomination for her role in The Nun's Story, 1959. On July 17, 1960, she gave birth to her first son, Sean Hepburn Ferrer. Hey there folks, thank you for staying and watching this video, hope you enjoyed it, please stay tuned for more exciting videos to come. Thank you and I'll see you again soon.